Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to Global Impromptu Speaking, session number 95. What a journey it has been. Thank you so much for being part of this beautiful family where we learn, we train, we support, we elate, and we empower each and every one. And before that, we do it for ourselves. Today, our topics master is, is none other than a first timer, Toastmaster Arya Chitra. And to support her, we have another beautiful lady who is going to time our speeches. And uh, that is none other than our honorable champion, Toastmaster Sindhu. Please put your hands together to welcome her to explain the timing mechanism. Good evening, Global Impromptu family members, and special good evening to the Table Topics Master of the day. Uh, today, I am the timer, uh, and uh, the timing mechanism goes like this. At uh, one minute, you will, may, you will see the background, green background. At one minute, 30 seconds, you'll see the amber background. And at two minutes, you'll see the red background. And it will continue till the speaker speaks. And I request everyone to stop your speech by two minutes, 30 seconds, so that we can have all the chance for all the other speakers in the session. Over to you, DTM Amjit. Thank you so much, Tosma Sindhuman. Really appreciate for your usual support. Really appreciate. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please put your hands together to welcome our first time topics master of global impromptu speaking session, none other than Arya Chitra. Please support her with thunderous round of applause. Welcome. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and thank you, DT Mamjid, for giving me an opportunity to be a table topics master for today's evening. Welcome to Global Impromptu Speaking Club. Now, table Topics is a long-standing uh, Toastmaster tradition intended to help members develop their ability to organize their thoughts quickly and respond to an impromptu question or a topic. Now, the winning strategies for an impromptu speech is, so when you are asked a question, pause for a moment and ask yourself, do you agree or you disagree with the question? Second, wrap your response around a simple template or a framework. Use personal stories, because when you say about, when you talk about your personal story, you say it with a lot of conviction and uh, you can say with a lot of pride. Third is avoid tendency to go on and on and on. And my advice is once you see the green light, start to wrap up your talk so that you don't go over time. So let me share my screen. And I have done a little twist in the table topics today. So today you all are the interviewers and I am the HR manager of a multinational company. And you all are here for a, the, the biggest job opening of the CEO. So all the questions are my difficult interview questions and you have to respond to them with, an, with a picture of joining my company and you have to make sure that you answer very smartly and very professionally. So here we go. Can I see a thumbs up? All of you can see my screen. Perfect, so here we go. So the first question, let me go in the, hold on, let me see the participant list. So we start with, Toastmaster Dhruv Katil. Toastmaster Dhruv Katil, can you unmute yourself? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. So your question is, describe the worst boss you ever had. Describe the worst boss you ever had. May I start? Yes, Toastmaster Dhruv, you can start. So I'm a minor, so I haven't had a boss yet. But I think the worst boss I've ever had this may come as a surprise to some people, was actually my best friend. So we had this project where uh, we, had to make a, we had to make a science project on how the windmill works. And I thought, hey, he was the one who's assigned and we are friends, so it will be fun for us. It was a big mistake because he was so bossy with me. He, he said that, I, that he was better than me and it was very bad. And I felt very pushed out because he was constantly saying that, oh, no, do this, this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that, constantly blocking us from doing what we want. 
So he was my worst boss. And even though it seems like as if I could have done nothing worse, I have learned a few things from that lesson. First, if you have a friend who's your boss, I suggest you run out of there quickly. Do not ever sta- stand there when your friend is a boss. But second, I learned that no matter how harsh, no matter how wrong your boss is, that he they are your boss for a reason. So I learned a lot of things. I learned how to manage a team without making the people in the team feel pressured and blocking the team's creativity and innovation. I hope um, my timing is correct. Thank you. Um, over to the uh, master right now. Thank you, Thank you Dosmaster Dhruv. And that's a beautiful advice that you shouldn't be working for your friends because sometimes your friends are your worst bosses. But then I think I disagree on that front because when you work with your friends, it's not the work anymore. You can always manage your differences pretty well. So my second question goes to Toastmaster Jesse D'Souza. Toastmaster Jesse, this is your question. What questions do you have for me? what you would like to me to to know about the job or the company so what is the question you will ask me if you've come here for for asking for the job hello toast masters and arya in particular good evening if i have if i come to your company for a job probably i would ask in fact i will google first and know more about the company before i get to your get to the interview to see what exactly the company is doing and who where all and the the questions that i would ask perhaps is like you know maybe related to the business where all um, you have branched out and uh, the products product probably that i did not get to see in the in the in the virtual world and uh, maybe these are the things that i would ask and naturally my profile that if i am getting a job what sort of job i am getting and what's the job description and uh, of course the salary pack uh, package with that will be on forefront of my thing but slowly slowly i'll bring forth and leave it aside that would be my my questions to, uh, that i will be asking with the job interviewer and uh, uh, now at this time it doesn't boil me it's so much for me because i am not going to get a job anywhere probably and so maybe those questions also don't come easily and that part of it so i will certainly not uh, uh, vilify uh, anyone or uh, speak any let down i will not let down or do anything of that sort of thing and put myself uh, that i know it all but uh, that would be my my in questions that i will be asking the interviewer all the over to you thank you dose master jesse and exactly so the, the today's topic is more about role play that you have to go to the mindset of of asking for a job because i really wanted you to go challenge yourself in thinking that you are an employee and you're coming here for the job good answer the uh, toast master jesse that first thing you would be asking is you have to google the company and then later on your profile so that you know what are your your future in in in, in the company thank you so much toast master jesse so that my second question is to toast master savita toast master savita yes. can you unmute yourself yes, now yes, your question yes. is do you consider do you consider yourself creative give an example thank you so much miss arya my hr for today <laughs> i am here for the interview you said do i consider myself creative i don't think so <laughs> basically i am a science student from big day so as a science student i never had a liking for any creativity as such what they consider in the arts and all that yes but given a chance 
or if i get a boss in your company who is a creative person or hr like you i definitely don't mind learning and going ahead in my job if it is lucrative yes creativity definitely i can learn the if leader or the boss has a good example in the company i don't mind but as of my my myself if i say i don't feel that i am a creative person but depends on our company if the company other things are good in the company i don't mind joining and then learn and go ahead in life because other things are also important so thank you very much over to you hr arya for this opportunity thank you so much toast master savita and i think you are one of the honest employee that he, she didn't lie about getting the job she she mentioned that she is not creative but then she also said that she is willing to learn creativity and that's a, a very good quality that you are showcasing that you are eager to learn good thing i think i i hope that you will get the job so my second coach so my next employee who's coming for the interview is sanchita Toastmaster Sanchita, can you unmute yourself? Sure, I'm here. So, Toastmaster Sanchita, here is your question. After money, what factor gives you the most job satisfaction? Thank you, Madam HR, for this wonderful question, which uh, allows me to think after money, what factor gives me the most job satisfaction? indeed i will disagree to this question to some extent because it's not money that really gives me a job satisfaction but it is the conditions that promote an employee the culture in the organization it's what something allows me to join any organization for for that matter for me a culture in the organization is something that drives an employee in the long run and it makes sure that uh, the employee stays in the company for a long time and give its best uh, i have seen many of the employees that leave the company in in spite of getting a big remuneration handsome salary for that matter but they leave the job just because their bosses are not right maybe they don't get the respect they want that they're looking for and deep down inside every employee there is a certain level of respect that they ask for uh, doesn't matter if uh, the person is getting a good salary we'll re disrespect that person or pressurize someone to do uh, work under heated conditions but yes um, coming to this i would definitely lo not look for an organization that disregards all the other factors and uh, focuses on money that's all thank you madam hr over to you thank you those master santita exactly i think you you are talking in respect to all the employees that we always we never the job we always a boss if a boss is difficult we, we we don't survive in that company very well said so my next employee interview is toastmaster sherman toastmaster sherman can you unmute yourself yes ma'am yeah toastmaster sherman that's uh, so here is your question how did you do in school yeah madam table topic master and uh, global imprint friends and in my school in primary level i got good education in the reputed college in my town the kadari school and in the school actually you get a uh, two sessions in the morning session we have uh, giving a lunch time and also starting another session and closing the school by 2:45 pm so after school you have enough time to spend uh, with uh, your classmates and playing in the grounds and after that i got uh, the secondary education in another school close to uh, another school close to my village and also i studied up to that uh, advanced level in commerce stream and i did some sports lot of sports in in, in that uh, category athletics and the games 
the things and i got a lot of uh, uh, what do you call this uh, the courage and the teamwork and with the playing the team games and the good uh, health after doing some exercises so that was enough for me to join i was joining after the school i was in the navy and did my uh, higher studies in chartered accountancy and uh, i got a lot of uh, these things uh, because of the good school surrendered so still i got some lot of uh, references from my uh, school uh, directors uh, what i call this uh, rector in the school and with that character certificates i got a lot of uh, recognition in the society for what you table topic thank you dose master shavan i indeed the schooling life is very important for all of us and i think that's the foundation base of our personalities our our academics and uh, we will say everything we learn is 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 the foundation laid in our schooling life and i good to know that you are good in sports and you are a commerce student and you joined navy that's good to know that my father was in navy he is an ex navy personnel thank you so much to master shaman for sharing your beautiful story so let me go to my next interview toastmaster shushant gopinath can you unmute yourself yeah am i audible able to speak master yes you are audible so toastmaster shushant uh, your question is if you started your own business what would it be okay so by the way table topic master you need to say you are the hr for our today's meeting if i start a business my own business what would it be it would surely be about something related to electronics because that's something what i really love everybody has their own ambition everybody has their own goal to be achieved everybody has a particular interest in a particular stuff for me it is based on electronics let me say that when i was a child i never knew what it does what it is for but let me say it fascinated me it the uh, one of the robot that was being made fascinated me so much while i was in my sixth standard its name is rodeo it's surely going to be coming on the roads after a few years as well as months it is being in process by my fellow friends of sprw it's a traffic bot first i thought it was just a cardboard piece when they were lifting it but when it does the action when it does what it is programmed for let me say that it was a very big thing for me because for me at that age seeing a particular thing like a robot like that was simply amazing let me say that and that's what made me love electronics so much let me say that electronics is something is like a key for us it's a weapon but not to destroy but to defend ourselves in the future and i use it as a shield not only as a shield as well as my friend someone with me someone for me and that's electronics for me and sure if i start a company it would be gs solutions ma'am Thank you, Mr. Master Sushant, GS Solution uh, business owner. And good to know that you love electronics. I think you should, at this age, you should be fascinated with electronics and everything to do with digital because that's the era you all are born in. I think if electronics and digital world is not influencing you, who else? Because parents cannot influence the children nowadays. So moving over to my next interviewer, Toastmaster Ajay. Toastmaster Ajay, can you unmute yourself? Yes, ma'am. So, Toastmaster Ajay, so you've come here for for a job interview, and I will be asking you this question: Who are your role models, and why? Thank you so much, uh, Madam Arya. Uh, to be very honest, I believe the only role model I follow is myself. because i think i am capable and complete in all respects with regard to my experience to my qualifications my credentials which are already lying with you i am i'm sure you've gone through that and potentially 
uh, I see a big future for myself in this company, uh, knowing that I am fully qualified for the post which you are, uh, which you have really uh, advertised for. And I look forward to being able to give a lot of value addition to the profile and the portfolio of the company, knowing that you seek a person with experience. And I'm sure you've gone through my curriculum vitae, which states the number of years I have experience and my age factor and the amount of experience I carry. So certainly I feel that uh, looking at the profile of the company, which I have really studied in depth from uh, various sources, I feel the role model for this particular post and this particular job is none other than myself. I'm a perfect fit for the organization. I'm sure that you will not regret the decision if you take me on. Thank you so much, Arya. Over to you. Thank you, Dostmaster Ajay. That was a very confident answer that who is the role model in your life if it's not you? That's an amazing way of starting an interview, showing the confidence that you have. Good answer. So moving on to my next interviewer, Toastmaster Sunita. Toastmaster Sunita, can you unmute yourself? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Toastmaster Sunita, so you've come for the job interview and this is the question I would be asking you. How do you respond to criticism? Uh, good morning, madam. I presume the interview is happening in the morning. So good morning to you. And um, how do I face with criticism? I'm open to criticism because it helps me grow. I realize from experience that I'm not a know-it-all person and hence I am always open to criticism. I will definitely give it a year and think about it, accept it if I think it is necessary or disregard it if I don't think it is really relevant to me. Uh, nobody is perfect, I realize that. And since I am new in this company and I'm not aware of the way you function, probably there will be areas where I need to be told uh, the way you all work and I need to be criti not exactly criticized. If you could kindly let me know which are the areas I need to change my style of working, I will do that. So uh, I think it's a process of give and take. Uh, I can also let you know what I think would be the changes required. And accordingly, I'm also open to your feedback. So criticism is just feedback. I will take it in that form. And uh, yes, I will be open to criticism. So you can rest assured, I will work with you in a smooth manner. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sunita. And that's a beautiful answer that she's open to criticism and that nobody is perfect. And it's always, I think, I'm sure that you're looking out for positive criticism that will help you improve your job profile. That's a good answer. I think I'm sure you would be hired if I was an HR. Moving on to my next interview, I have Toastmaster Umar Farouk. Toastmaster Umar, are you there? Can you unmute yourself? Can you put me in the last? Actually, I'm on, the, on my way to the... No, console. absolutely no problem, Toastmaster Umar. So, moving on. Toastmaster Wafa. Toastmaster Wafa, can you unmute yourself? Yes. Can you All right, Toastmaster Wafa. So, this is your job interview. And I would be asking you, are you better at managing up? Are you better at managing down? Thank you so much, HR, for the, giving me the opportunity uh, so that I can present myself. Um, as you asked me that if I'm better at managing up or managing down, all I know is I'm very, very, very good at managing myself. Uh, I think that's one of the important things that we need to learn in life is to manage yourself and the things around you. So this is how I do. I take control of my life. I start my day with a to-do list and I, I identify my tasks that seem to be the priority of the day. 
every day brings a different task and different priorities, depending on what needs to be done first and what I can put down later uh, for the next day. And as I go, I keep ticking my tasks. There are days, uh, Madam HR, where I don't get time or the opportunities to finish all the tasks. But I assure you that I do make sure that the important ones are there on the desktop, neat and tidy and ready to be surveyed or analyzed. Um, this helps me uh, to have more control over myself and also helps the others around me. So the four children that I handle, which I assume is managing down, I have been doing really well. And they look up to me now and they say, if mama can do it, we can do it as well. So that's how I understand your question. Over to you, HR Madam. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Wafa. And I really liked how you took the topic and you made it about yourself. That's a beautiful way of doing it. I think it was a classic example of how do you uh, counter a question like this. You, I asked you about you are better at managing up and down. You said you're better at managing yourself. And later on, you, you spoke about your, your pluses, a beautiful way of answering that table topics. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Wafa. So my next interviewer is Toastmaster Hush. Toastmaster Hush, can you unmute yourself? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, Toastmaster Hush, you've come for a job interview. And my question to you is, do you consider yourself a leader? Do you consider yourself a leader? Toastmaster Hush. Okay. Thank you so much for this question. Uh, first of all, it is very important for us to really understand what a job of leader is. A leader is not someone who, you know, gives you orders, but is someone who leads you when those orders are given. And it is very, very essential for a leader to, you know, keep the uh, calm of the group uh, and, you know, help them at every point. Uh, try to fix things, try to maintain things, try to ensure that things, things go in place, fall in place. And I do think that I do I do those I do have those leadership qualities as I think that a leader should learn to main learn to keep his calm you know uh, you you'll always be in situations where you will have to face some kind of difficulties or some kind of problems and where that uh, those are your real you know checkpoints where you have to fill the, fill those with with your smartness and you have to uh, maintain your calm and uh, if you, you know, just shout on anyone and try to fix things by dominating, uh, it won't work. So I think to be a good leader and to have those leadership qualities, you really need to understand and you need to have good knowledge of what is going on around you. So uh, if you have that knowledge, it would really help you to keep the, keep the things composed. And I think I do have that quality. Uh, so thank you so much, ma'am. That, that is my take on it. Thank you, Toastmaster Hush. Calm and composed. That's the quality of being a leader. I think we all agree on that part, that we need to be calm and composed in life in order to lead a team. Because if a leader is not sure about what's going on in, in, the, in, in, his, in his company, we, we all will be lost. A good take on that, Toastmaster Hush. So my next interviewer is Toastmaster Jen. Uh, can you unmute yourself? Toastmaster Zen. Hi. I'm Toastmaster Jen. So you've come here for your interview and I'm your HR manager. So I would be asking you, what if you work with someone who managed to take credit for all your great ideas? How would you handle it? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for this opportunity, for calling me for this interview. Uh, this is a pretty tricky topic. I think I would first of all like to have a conversation with them, a one-on-one -on -one conversation rather than blowing up into a bigger issue because I feel there are a lot of things that could be solved with dialogue. There could be miscommunication. There could be, uh, I could have misunderstood their intention or maybe they thought 
or maybe I could have thought that it was an individual project where it would it could have been like a group project. So I would like to have a proper conversation with them on a professional manner and try and talk it, uh, try and make them understand and uh, try and ask them to give me credit for the next project or the upcoming projects. Uh, if they still don't agree, I would like to consider the dynamics at that time of my standing in the company or at my position, because if it's a team thing or multiple people are involved, then I would like to let it go and not create a bigger issue out of it because it's more people rather than just making it about myself. But if it is just about myself and my credibility is on the line, then I would like to take it up with the higher, uh, to the higher ups and I would po probably contact you or another higher up who I'll be reporting to. And I would like to talk to them and ask them to find a solution for this so we can move, uh, move along cordially without there being a, a lot hassle for them and for me. And that would be it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dostmaster Zainab. That's a beautiful take on that. You will have, first of all, you'll have one-on-one -on -one conversation with the person involved. And later on, you will take it up to official. It's a very good way of going in the company. You need to follow hierarchy. That's how we do it, Dostmasters. A good, a very smart answer. And you're a very confident speaker. Let me add that. So moving on to our next interviewer. Can I have Toastmaster... Toastmaster Umar, have you reached your house? Are you are you able to take this topic? The next yes, one? Yes, I, I can take it now. All right. Toastmaster Umar, so you've come here for the job interview and I'm the shrewd HR. So I will be asking you a tough question. Okay. All right. So I see from your resume that you've worked in TMI for four years. And that's terrific. But I also noticed that you weren't promoted during that time. Why not? Okay, I have not been promoted. That there is a one reason for it, and very big reason for that, because I have been moving around different countries and joining different clubs, and so sometimes when you are moving around and changing different clubs, and because of the job you have to move here and there, so you the growth is when you are there for some time and then you can grow maybe after two years three years but after one year you are moving to another country and you are a part of another club so you have to build your image again you are in a new 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 waters and you have to this uh, you have to find your feet and you have to walk around and you have to get to know the people and you have to build your rapport with them and you have to build your goodwill and because of that, that is the one reason that I can, I believe that I have not been able to promote it. As, as you know, I, I, currently I am in Saudi Arabia and I have been here for two years. So I, I have a very bright future prospects for here because I, I am here to stay maybe in the next three, four years also. And I, the district leadership and all the leadership of success, whatever it is, I am quite positive that I will be climbing that and step one step at a time see growth is not always rapid growth is always gradual and it should always be in the right direction and it should always be healthy and supported by your uh, environment also so in order for me to cultivate and to be promoted i always believe that i have that the x factor you call it for the leadership and to go go up the hierarchy of the leadership also and in future i am posit very positive in Saudi Arabia, in District 79, I will be climbing the hierarchy of leadership. Thank you, Dr. Master Umar. That's a beautiful answer. And I really liked how you took the ball and you threw it back in our court, saying that we need to provide you a positive environment for you to grow. That was a terrific answer. And it was like a smash back at me, the HR manager. A good attempt. Very good. So can I have Toastmaster Jaya? Toastmaster Jaya, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, a very good evening. Good evening, Toastmaster Jaya. So you've come here for the job interview and I would be asking you, have you ever been fired? What were the circumstances? Um, First of all, uh, thank you for this uh, lovely question. Um, well, never. Because I'm a person who, who aim to be perfect and without doing anything wrong. 
I don't give a single chance to anybody to uh, point at me or fire me anything. So yeah, I never got uh, fired in any circumstances. But yes, um, it's a very small matter. Uh, when I was working uh, previously uh, in India and it was an autism center, um, I was handling a child, um, teaching him how to, you know, uh, uh, in the kitchen setting, how to fold napkins and etc. And these kids, they do tend to show certain behavior. I mean, uh, they do tend to escape the activities. So I just happened to like, you know, um, uh, I, uh, I showed my eyes or my hand, which I didn't mean to. And I saw other teachers doing it. And instead, the director, um, she saw me and she caught me. And I got mad at her. Why, why she got me instead of all the teachers? Because those teachers were the first one who showing hands to children and all. Instead, she saw me and uh, got angry with me. I wanted to tell her that it is not fair. Before you point fingers at me, you see what other teachers were doing behind your back. Just because we are, um, you know, same culture, same, uh, you know, uh, caste to anything, that doesn't mean you you take um, opportunity, you know, uh, to uh, fire me when you, when you're totally blind to see what other teachers are doing behind your back. Yeah, till today, I am very upset. I cannot forget that scene. Otherwise, I'm a person who never gave one single chance to anybody to fire me in any circumstances. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Jaya. That was a beautiful message to all of us that we shouldn't stand, stand when there's an injustice happening to you. You should always stand up for your rights. That's a, that's a beautiful story right there for all of us to follow. So my next interviewer is Toastmaster Jatin. Toastmaster Jatin. Can you unmute yourself? Yes. All right. So Toastmaster Jatin is a gavelier. If I am. All right. Yes. So Toastmaster Jatin, you've come here for the internship. So you're not come here for the job. Okay. Because mm. of age, I'm giving you an internship. So in your inter interview, I would ask you. All right. So let me give you another one. Is there anything else that you feel mm. I should know about you? Is there anything else? Because I have read your resume. I know everything about your professional career. But then, is there anything else that I would like to know? I should know about you. Okay. Um, basically, good morning, everyone. Because uh, normally in interviews, we may have, we happen in mornings. So the thing is that uh, whenever i do stuff i don't do it nicely but then if i do it in my home um i do it in a creative way but then because if i go to school they keep on forcing me to do this and that which like i'm kind of like a lazy person if i can say because doing things things for me like and showing to people is kind of like a show off and more, not like the people who, who I like won't be with me because they might think that I only like this and I won't like that. So he's more of like an art person, like normal, because I like to run a lot instead of do art. But then if they think like that, it's like no need to play with him because 
he's more of a art guy and he won't is not a sporty man so i uh, i don't want to show that how good i am in art i will only show if there's like a uh, like a huge competition or else i won't show it. thank you thank you those master jatin i think that's a beautiful answer that you only show your qualities when there is a opportunity for that a good way of doing that you don't have to brag about your opportunities or your your skills you can always you know if they say action speaks louder than the words a good take on that so my next interviewer is toastmaster meet toastmaster meet can you unmute yourself yes ma'am yes ma'am so all right toastmaster meet your question is you come here for a job interview and i am your hr manager so this is the question yes, you would tell ask you. so tell us about yourself so good morning everybody since the previous speaker just told that the interviews are always uh, mostly in the morning so good morning everyone and as you have read my resume so this is the most common question that everybody the interviewer likes to ask tell us about yourself so this is the point where you can impress where you can grab your opportunity where you can show the interviewer that you are an asset to the company if you if they let us in if they let you join so we have to get that cutting edge from all others see like uh, these um, like the toastmasters meeting helps us give us communication skills right so we become fluent in speaking we get the way how to Must, uh, meet, uh, you must meet you are you are i think you got unmute yeah sorry i got no mute, worries unmute. continue so we have to be very polite firstly it's the most important skill that the interviewer interviewer will be attracted to so we that also shows our our background our nature how we talk so that gives us an cutting edge from other people because education is given to all and that is same so what makes us different from others will help us get the opportunity to get us the job so you should know how to make yourself valuable presentable and you should have the perfect knowledge and you have you should have the the most sweetest voice when you talk to someone that's my point thank you so much thank you those master me that's a good take that you should always speak a very uh, confidently and fluently for your job interview that's a that's a very nice answer so toastmaster my next interviewer is toastmaster indu uh did i did i call you uh before uh yeah hi uh, no you haven't yeah yeah yes, i haven't so toastmaster okay. indu you come for a job interview and i am your hr manager so i i'm asking okay. you so one of the important questions the key uh, question in the interview is can you describe your dream job um okay uh, good morning uh, good morning hr uh, assuming that the interview happens in the morning and uh, uh, so yeah so you asked me a very good question and uh, that is what is my dream job uh, so my dream job is uh, um uh, something where which is me a lot of free uh in terms of working hours where i can work um you know at my pace at uh, maybe a couple of hours and then you know uh, choose choose a time for myself and um get to travel uh, a lot and um uh, uh, basically um something which i enjoy and something which doesn't Uh, feel like work so yes i do like traveling and i like writing and so i think something uh, which is a combination of uh, this is probably travel writing or something would be my dream job and uh, yeah so that's what it is thank, thank you, you so yeah much. thank you so much to master indu i think you you spoke about all of us our dream job is the freedom that we have to work on any project that's well spoken So my next interviewer is uh, Toastmaster Babu Gupta. Can you unmute yourself, Toastmaster Babu? Yes. 
All right. So, those master Babu, you've come here for a job interview, and I am asking you this important question, which is like a key element in your interview, for me to hire you for the position. So, my question is, what are you motivated by? I am motivated by the salary which you will give me, because that's what I am here. I am not happy with the company which I am working. I want an increment. I saw the advertisement the, in your company. There is a, a vacancy. So I have, a, a, I have arrived here for the interview. And uh, I also came to know that the salary which you will give is uh, higher than the place I work. So if uh, I will have to work for the same number of hours, and I will get a higher payment for it, then obviously I will go for it because I am working so that I can take my the level of my livelihood at a uh, at slightly more upward so that I can uh, uh, also um, uh, 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 fulfill some some of my uh, desire some uh, some uh, uh, things that I want to do with my life, some things that I want to buy, some things, uh, uh, in, uh, some things that I want to uh, share with my family or with my friends. So that's why I um, uh, will uh, always be motivated if you will pay more salary to me, and I will, and you can ask also have will have the power to ask me to work more since you are paying more salary to me. So both of us will be benefited in a mutual way by that. Thank you, interviewer. Thank you, Toastmaster Babu. That's a very frank and a very genuine, a genuine answer. That definitely money is important. We get motivated by money. And if an employer is 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 giving you your 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 perfect salary, and you would work hard for that, absolutely. There are people who say that money doesn't matter, but then yeah, it matters in some way for living a lifestyle and the necessary things in life. You need you need to have money for sure. A very very frank and a very uh, honest answer, I would say, Toastmaster Babu. So I, I think I will go back to the timer. Before that, I would ask uh, DTM Amjad Ali, would you, like to, would you like to participate in one of the topic? Yes, ma'am. I'm always ready. All right, Toastmaster uh, DTM Amjad. Uh, I think that will never be a situation where I would hire you a job. I think it's always be the other way around that I would come for the interview. But then, yeah, it's a, it's a fake scenario. So here you go. So my question to you is, no, this one. It's done. All right. So what did you dislike about your last job? Thank you so much, Madam uh, interview uh, for asking this beautiful question. What did I, what didn't, what did I dislike about my last job? Let me tell you, honestly speaking, very honestly, I'm not uh, praising about myself. I'm a person who works very, uh, innocently and uh, honestly, wherever I work, when I feel there is no much place for me, I just leave the place without any arguments and all everything. But what did I not like about my last job was the next position. There was no next position. Suppose I'm uh, going up, upward on this ladder, scaling up, going up, in terms of achievements, in terms of accolades, in terms of salary, in terms of everything. But after that, what? There was no further step, but I have to break. That was a thing where I felt this is what I'm not going to like and I cannot stay here for long. I have to break the ceiling or I have to exit the door or I have to exit the room. And that's what I did. And I encourage you all for the same thing. Don't look for only money. Don't look for only positions, but next what? Money will follow. Trust me, positions will follow. And sometimes you have positions, but there is no peace and peace of mind in your life. You are getting so much salary, but salary is paid only for the abuses you hear from your bosses. That's not right. Always look for what you are going to do next in your skills, in your achievements, in your other 
uh, positions, like in terms of traveling, in terms of making other clients happy. So I encourage you all, what is next? You believe or not, you speak and speak about money, you can speak about position, but these are all for time being. But if you are going up word on the ladder or the scale, that should be your achievement, what next? And for that one tip I would like to give you, you can never go up if you don't train people for your position. Train people for your position, don't feel insecure, that's the key to go higher, have your own positions, have your own businesses, have your own industries. If you feel you are feeling insecure for your position and tomorrow, if you are hiring other people, they will do the same thing. They will not help you build your empire successfully. So better do it with honesty, do it with diligence, wherever you are working right now. So tomorrow you have to no worry for other people, whether they are honest or dishonest or you don't have to you know be awake middle of the night that people are not working honestly work honestly so tomorrow people can work honestly for you that was the catch in my life there was no further position for me to scale up thank you so much ma'am thank you so much dtm amjadali and that's a profound thoughts i think it's such a beautiful way of closing the table topic session by such beautiful words and he said that he's i think he's we were speaking for all of us that success when you when you follow your passion money follows because your job is never your job anymore you are passionate about how we are like i think i think didi uh, mamjalid you are you are you are you are you're doing your talk that i know that you do a lot of work for other fellow toastmasters like this club you have created for global impromptu speaking and i'm sure that you're doing a fantastic job and i don't need to hire you because you already sorted in life <laughs> So let me have the timer, Toastmaster Sindhu. So anybody would like to volunteer for the time uh, for for Toastmaster Sindhu timing? I will take. All right, perfect. So Toastmaster Savita is taking the timing slot. So Toastmaster uh, Sindhu, you can you can pin uh, Toastmaster Savita's window for the time slot. So here we are, Toastmaster Sindhu. You've come for the job interview, and I would ask you. what do you think you will peak in your career when do you think sorry when do you think you will peak in your career first of all good evening to all my friends over here and a special good morning to my hr manager now i am very thankful to you for calling me here for the interview and now the question i got is like when do you think that you will peak in your career i would honestly say that i would peak when i get a chance or the freedom to work as i feel and uh, i would like to say that i am really honest and sincere in my work i am a hard working person so if i am given a chance to work in my own style and i uh, coping with the style of the business or the your office i'll be able to do the best and i need full cooperation in this regard and uh, as uh, earlier uh, toastmaster savita said that is if you are ready to share your kind of work or your modus operandi i'll be taking it i'll be learning new things from you and i'll be doing the best from my side so that the company grows and whatever i can put from my side will be there for you and uh, above all i am ready to help the uh, um, means my colleagues also if there are people subordinates working under me i would be definitely yeah and the other things which i feel that i'll be doing and all these will be helping me to come up in my career and i do believe that if i help others i'll be getting the help in turn so this is my policy which i have been following throughout my life so all these policies will be helping me to reach where i would like to this is what i would like to tell you about me myself on this topic Toastmaster, sorry, HR manager, Arya. Thank you so okay. much, Toastmaster Sindhu. And Atma, what a beautiful uh, reply to my question that you will only peak in your career if you're given the right environment to grow. That's a beautiful way of approaching the question. Uh, uh, Ditya Mam Jodali, do we can we take one more participant? Are we running out of time? Ah uh, yes, we can. Please, we have enough time. Please, go ahead. thank you. So right. I think uh, that's the, I think that's the only participant I see which I have not uh, asked any question. Toastmaster Para, can you uh, unmute yourself? 
Hello. Good evening, ma'am Mahare. So, Joshmaster Parag, you come here for a job interview, and I would ask you this question. All right. So, I have a question. No. Let me find a question for you. All right. Does a company need B players, or is it better off only having A players on staff, and why? So, does a company need the 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 second non-performing employees, or you should always have the star employees in your company, and why? Okay. I would say that okay, when a team is comprises, it's not the all horses are picked. uh if you need uh if you want to build a core team a core team can be definitely a players and that a team can give the momentum to those or uh, to the whole company now if every segments in the company uh, is a player there can be the more aspirations uh, all would be a more aspirations and all cannot be productive uh, for a good cause just for a game that there are a different roles if i take a cricket game or football or hockey 11 player player comprises of different skill sets but all are important a player or hot player can be very famous among the world but on a particular day which a minor uh, other player do does is nothing less than that similarly if a, a, like a grooming by a top or, or intelligent or a great player are so famous they might have been a low grade employee in their time but it was their a great uh, mentorships or professionals who groomed them well took the best out of them and that's why they also grew up their mentor and so they uh, these guys led up in the hierarchy and this chain must be continue a managers or leaders performance is measured in such a way that even if they give minor skills persons they should be able to get the work done up from them and that's how everyone feel aspirated inspired in the team and that should be the work structure thank you over to you ma'am arya thank you so much to master parag and a very profound answer that a, a teacher was a student once that if you don't have students we will not excel a beautiful a uh, good answer to my question thank you so much all for the fellow toss master for for attempting my topic i'm sure it was a twist and all of you were a sport and you all spoke pretty well and i think i've hired all of you so in my multinational company so i have the new 17 i think 16 fellow toast masters appointed and dt amjad ali is our is our boss so he's replacing me <laughs> thank Over you so much toast master arya chitra our interviewer really appreciate uh, and thank you so much for helping us think about all these questions actually whenever we are going for interview at least we know what are the questions going to be asked at least attentive questions but before we leave we have somebody special we hired from another company for you for give you, to give you one topic to ask you if you are troubling people so this guy is a troublemaker he will trouble you <laughs> with one question let's see how you answer this one it is toast master umar please yes now the tables have turned now i am the interviewer and you are the interviewee a very simple question there is another lady who has the same qualification and experience like you why should we hire you and not her over to you are thank you for that question and if you have another lady who is uh, equally qualified like me but then let me talk let me tell you about my qualities i am a very positive person i am very competitive when it requires me to i am a team player i would love to work in a team i don't know about her but then i can talk about my skill sets 
I am a leader. I would uh, make sure that if if a project is given to me, I would drive it to its end task. I manage time pretty well. I have always been doing that. As you see from my resume, that I've always been the key player in many projects. And the reason I'm coming to your company is I want to establish that uh, esteemed uh, position in your company, that so that my skill sets are fully required and used in your company. So there you go. I'm a very competitive person. I'm a team player. I'm a positive, positive person, and I and I motivate my team. I'm a very good motivator. I I make sure that I lead with my team, and I don't backstab. And that's I think that's a very positive quality in in any employee that you will look up to. That she's a team player, and I'm a team player. That I can guarantee you. because i am a toastmaster as well so you know how toastmasters are we we work in a very positive we don't even criticize each other we always have this positive environment so in my cv you will see i am a active toastmaster okay so you have sold the idea of toastmaster also <laughs> okay. all right thank okay. you so much uh, toastmaster umar toastmaster arya chitra really appreciate your contribution for making this session successful before we conclude let's go to madam timer to ask sindhu for timing report please good evening once again uh, now i would like to uh, tell our to ask master arya you have interviewed 20 people okay i think 20 people are just accommodated in your company instead of 60 so it was a really good meeting let me start with the timing report uh, gavler dhruv has taken 1 minute 28 seconds dtm jessie has taken 2 minutes 3 seconds toastmaster savita took 1 minute 20 seconds uh, toastmaster sanchita took 1 minute 41 seconds toastmaster sherman took 1 minute 50 seconds toastmaster gavler sushar took 1 minute 57 seconds toastmaster ajay took 1 minute 21 seconds toastmaster sunita took 1 minute 36 seconds toastmaster wafa took 1 minute 49 seconds Toastmaster Harsh took one minute twenty nine seconds. Toastmaster Sainath took one minute seventeen seconds. Toastmaster Umar took one minute fifty one seconds. Toastmaster Jaya took one minute eleven seconds. Gavle Jatin has taken one minute nineteen seconds. Toastmaster Meet has taken one minute fifty three seconds. Toastmaster Indu took one minute four seconds. Toastmaster Babu took one minute thirty six seconds. To DTM Amjad took three minutes six seconds. Toastmaster Sindhu Maisal took one minute thirty eight seconds. Toastmaster Parag took two minutes nine seconds. Toastmaster Arya took one minute twenty nine seconds. So two people have gone out of the time, like Toastmaster Jaya and DTM Amjad. Otherwise, all are within the time. Thank you. Over to DTM. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sindhu. Can we all give her a big hand for managing us all? Thank you so much. Really appreciate. Ladies and gentlemen, today Toastmaster Arya Chitra was. first timer as topics master in global competitive speaking session and session number was 95 what a journey it has been thank you so much to master arya chitra for becoming our family member trust me you are a value added person you remember i told you for the first time when i met you in ssy that you have beautiful smile stay blessed stay strong and keep smiling as always and you have made our day thank you so much we have prayers for you in your life in your career every time ladies and gentlemen with that uh, let's put our hands together for our uh, main role players to ask arya chitra sindhu and uh, umar ji really appreciate and now how best me as a host of this very meeting i urge the meeting over to each one of you to have fun for some time stay blessed